What's poppin'? Look at where are we at? So I spent the whole day in the hospital, but I didn't want to start the vlog off on a negative note, so I just vlogged an hour ago of just whatever around the house, and then we'll get back to that's gonna be out of order, kind of like Breaking Bad, Walking Dead, and all these other shows where all of a sudden it's Uso to be out of order, but here you go. What's cooking? It smells good. We got the personal vegan to vegan chef here what in is the this? kitchen. Yeah. Okay, so we got quinoa tofu taco stuff. Damn. Little kind of spices on it. I love it. This is sauteed garlic, caramelized it a little bit, ginger, and then coconut oil. I put this stuff on my face, dude. Smell it, dude. <laughs> That's so good. By the way, uh, we're all uh, like going healthy and stuff and Haley's like the vegan Nazi Which is what my dad calls her because my dad's one of those people that you know those people out there Which is probably a lot of you guys they are people who just like hate vegetarians and vegans for whatever reason you shouldn't because they're good people they We're not pushing it on you like oh now you're one of them. No, no, okay. <laughs> are you officially? A no, I'm not I'm not I'm not telling anyone to, yeah. to do this at all. It's a very hard lifestyle. Yeah. No, I see I always dreamed of being a vegetarian It's just right, well yeah, pescatarian. I'll never stop eating fish, but uh, I just I exercise a lot, so I need to eat a lot of lean chicken and stuff and when people offer me food It's hard for me to say no, but I always wanted to be a vegetarian because for me personally above everything else They're sustainable. They're good for the earth because the meat industry and, very, the, dairy industry. and the dairy industry Horrible for, carbon footprints terrible carbon footprint and I'm a environmentalist sustainable, sustainable type of person That's what I love and you know, I kind of forgot about I didn't forget I just <laughs> kind of gave up being in the Philippines Not really I did my part. I just never preached about it, but being back here and eating all this organic food and seeing that everything's sustainable. I love it. Love it. So, um, plus, thank you. You said in the refrigerator. Well, then I said in the pantry, and of course, you ignored me. Plus, when you're around vegetarians and vegans, you get to eat more meat, so there's more for you. I mean, that's something I always loved when I was around my friends and people that are vegetarians and vegans. It's not really a thing in the Philippines, which is why I forgot about it. When you ask for something without meat or if you say you're vegetarian, people look at you like you're crazy in the Philippines for some reason. I guess it's just not something, I don't know. But here, uh, it's very normal. And every restaurant you go to, there's like these vegetarian and organic options. I love it. Haley's uh, pushing the, the veganism, or Segan. Segan, vegans that eat seafood. We're not I don't necessarily know she... ethical vegans. Like, we're not really doing it for the animals. We're doing it for health reasons. Yeah, the animals is just a plus, yeah. Yeah. We're definitely not strict ones either, I mean. We're gonna do what we can, but. Pooja, what you up to, bro? Doing my favorite things, so... though. I was thinking of a little person. Come on, Pants, let's get it, let's get it. Oh, good hat. You see, me and my dad watch every single Giants game, even though they're in last place. We love to watch our Giants. Baseball is a, it's like religion. You know, we play catch every day. We watch our Giants. It's just something that's part of our lifestyle. We really enjoy it. Plus, the, we talk about other stuff in addition to the baseball in between each pitch. We talk about other stuff. Yeah, it's a fun, relaxing way to hang out and bond. Ooh. Come on, kid. Ooh. Oh, he's, oh out. he's out. Hey, mom, how you doing? Are you on that vegan life? No. Bueller? No way. But she's a vegan and vegetarian oh, hater as well. Vegan. Comment below if you're a vegetarian or vegan, and comment below if you're a vegetarian vegan hater, and why? Why do you <laughs> hate them? Hater. Why do you hate? Oh, they're, they're good people. Why? They care you about animals, have, and they're clean sustainable. Up, clean up the kitchen. I yeah. want everything clean. Mom, put a bra on. I'm vlogging. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, mom, put a bra on. <laughs> like, Haley can get away with it, but like. Hey, I don't care. Diga. 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 Sabi mo kakainin mo to, ba't di mo kinain? Kukaking kukukaku. Hindi mo kinain. Eh, kasi parang rabbit food yan. Eh, hey, yan ang gusto mo. Pagkain oh. ng ibon, sabi ni True. Irma. <laughs> sabi ni Irma, ayaw kong kainin yung mga kinakain ni Serwin. Serwin. Fam bam in the living room, what's up? Bonding. Yee. How's your taco, you little monkey? You're such a... taco naman yan? I can't, I don't have room. There's no hey, room. Hey, anong taco yan? Bawal kumain dito sa TV room, di ba? It's family bonding Giants time. Oh, no. She gets a free pass because uh, the Giants are on. on. And because I'm making, I'm Will's personal chef now. Oh my god, I want to know. pa. Huh? She doesn't understand. And what is in the taco? It's 
food that you don't like. Rabbit food. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Ew, I can see that. What is that? It's go it's wash. Over. Go go wash, Ew. please. That's cabbage. Okay, you're not eating in here anymore if you if the giants are on. I know, we're gonna have some We're gonna have nose jungle. <laughs> But I'm squatter, vlog squatter. Nagaguyam na yan. Dude, I roast everyone else, but when I'm in the family house, I get roasted. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to the family, I think Haley's the biggest God roast. Damn it. Oops. We take our giants seriously. The giants are. Yeah, they just scored a run. sa linggo, 9:30 daw. Ilalagay ko to sa Instagram. I love you, Will. Follow mom at Instagram. I love you, Will. Alam ko. We will. <laughs> I love you, Will. I love you, Will. I am jealous. No. <laughs> I've always known that, mom. Huh? I've always known that. All right, back to what the vlog was originally gonna be. I only left in like a minute or two because I realized the whole time I was just like, well, I was on drugs and I just, it didn't, it didn't make sense what I was saying. Sometimes it did, but it's just weird. And uh, here it is. And I didn't even initially plan on vlogging. I just honestly, like, I remember waking up out of it and the first reaction I did was I just grabbed my phone and that's it. But I don't really remember because I was like, I don't know, here it is. Procedure. So trippy because I just went in and then they put this in. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Alright, now the trick with this is you have to keep your left arm straight while this is inflating. Once it's not tight anymore, it'll be done. So give me just one minute. I just went and all of a sudden I went out. I'm so surprised. I just took this in me and then boom. Knock out like Pacquiao very smart cats. How did I do? Yeah, as far as I know. We don't have your report up yet, so we'll see okay. what the doctor says. Yeah, I don't want to just a little great. bit here. Okay. I'm so hungry. I've been eating like 36 oh, hours. No, I'm gonna go to In and Out and just get a cheeseburger. That's all I've been thinking about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it kind of feels like when you do two all nighters. Has anyone done that before? Better yet, five all nighters when I was in PBB. And then the challenge was just not to eat for five days. That's how I feel like right now. It's like I'm in a stage five of REM sleep. Blood pressure was around 60, which is a uh, though not too shabby. That means I'm pretty fit. Or I'm wondering if. Could you read through this in the next page when you get home? It'll just tell you what to expect. They give you free socks, like in business class. All right, enough of that. That's the vlog for today. Thank you for everyone who's been supporting me throughout this whole thing. You know, it looks like I'm gonna be here in the US for a really long time. I mean, things are complicated. We still don't know all the amount of details, but I'll update you guys on, on everything that's going on. I have a ton of messages on Facebook, Instagram, Viber, WhatsApp, everything, and, and I just can't go through them all, but I very much appreciate everyone that's reached out to me. In the meantime, I'm feeling good. You know, I'm exercising, I'm eating a lot. I'm sleeping like nine to 10 hours a day, which like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, never experienced that in my entire life. So I'm having fun. I'm spending time with my family, friends, you know the work. So for now, I'm staying on these vlogs. I mean, I got time to edit and stuff. I don't have to go to business meetings or do anything back what I was doing in Manila. So once again, thank you. I think I'm ranting, I'm rambling, and I'll see you guys. Question, is there anything you guys want to see or want me and the family to explore around San Francisco, Marin County, anywhere in California, somewhere close, comment below. What do you guys enjoy? Do you just, do you want to see more raw vlogs just with me and my family? I, I think that's one of the favorites. I think most of you guys just enjoy the family. So, so let me know more about what you guys want to see. I always read through all the comments. I enjoy all of your comments and thank you. So deuces. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe already. I know there's a lot of people that watch my videos but don't actually have a Gmail or YouTube account. Just make one, subscribe, you're a homie. And always press the like, punch 
punch that thumbs up, punch that like button if you're watching every video. All right, all right. Deuces, deuces, deuces. Bye, bye, bye. From the Daniel Marsh knuckle. From the Pambansang turd wheel. The turd wheel.